Welcome back to Fox News tonight. Joe Biden's mental decline has become so transparent that even his most staunch defenders have stopped trying to hide it. Biden missed a dinner at the NATO meeting in Lithuania. His third unannounced absence from a dinner with world leaders went on international trips. Instead of pretending that Biden's still at the peak of his powers, his apologists now blame White House staff. I'm just saying, if you are managing a president's schedule and you are managing a president getting on stage and getting off stage and doing getting on planes and getting off planes, and yes, He's 80. You need to be there for him and you need to make a pathway. And you sure as hell better make sure he doesn't fall on a sandbag. Stop falling over, Mr. President. Yeah, I don't think he's suffering from scheduling issues. I think it's cognitive issues. He couldn't even get President Zelensky's name right. And look how he got it wrong. Vladimir and I, we, the, I should, shouldn't be so familiar. Uh, Mr. Zelensky and I uh, talked about the kind of guarantees we could make in the meantime. Vladimir? Vladimir's the other guy, Mr. President. He's the one that invaded Ukraine. Well, Miranda Devine is columnist with the New York Post and joins me now. Miranda, great to have you on the program tonight. You've written so much about Joe Biden and this inexorable decline. It does seem extraordinary that his defenders are now coming out saying, look, we know he keeps falling over and making these terrible gaffes and everything, but it's not his fault. It's the staff who should be leaping in, throwing their bodies in front of him to stop him tumbling and to be speaking, presumably on his behalf, to stop him misspeaking. Yeah. Look, it's the next stage of denial, isn't it? First of all, mm. they just pretended that there was no problem at all and that anyone who pointed out that he kept on falling downstairs and stumbling around stages, not knowing how to get off and forgetting people's names and uh, bumbling the teleprompter, that, that we were just all being cruel and, um, and just partisan. And now they admit that there's a problem, but it's not Joe Biden's fault. It's not the fault of the people who installed an 80-year-old uh, sort of cognitive incompetent in the job. Um, it's somehow some unnamed staffers who are probably the same poor people who Joe Biden yells at behind the scenes, right. we were told the other day. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched the segment actually live with, with Mika this morning. And what it was interesting, she said, she said quite rightly, actually, that every time one of these things happens, you then watch them on loop for days and weeks on end and it will carry on to the election. I mean, she's right about that. It is becoming an increasingly big problem, yeah. isn't it, where there are so many clips now. We've just been showing some of them just there. It just seems like a sort of running joke, only it's not that funny. He's the president of the United States. Yeah, and I mean, you don't even need to run old clips because he provides new ones every day. Right. And particularly, you know, when he's overseas at one of these big global confabs mm. where all eyes are on him, um, it's become so commonplace, I think, that in America we don't really remark on it unless there's some extraordinary bumble. Mm. Um, but overseas, it's a hot topic. I mm. know that. And, um, you know, it's just not very comforting to have the guy with the nuclear codes not able to keep a full schedule that a world leader should, that he has to keep sp skipping dinners. Um, and, you know, we were told the reason he skipped the dinner last night was because he was preparing for this big speech today. Well, he couldn't even read that off the teleprompter mm. properly. Um, so, and you just had RFK Jr. on. Um, mm. There's a reason that he did that sort of topless, that shirtless mm. video showing his abs and looking, you know, virile and vigorous and pumping iron and doing push-ups. Um, he, he doesn't say anything about Joe Biden being feeble and looking like a, an inmate escaped mm. from a nursing home. He, he just shows, uh, and everybody watching that video gets the message because everybody knows the underlying problem with Joe Biden. And it's not really just that he's 80. There's something wrong with him. No, it's nothing to do with his age. I know people who are a lot older than Joe Biden who have incredible smarts and they're whip smart even now as they have been for the last 50 years. It's nothing to do with the fact he's 80. There is something clearly that is wrong and it's getting worse. Miranda Devine, thank you very much indeed. Great to have you on the show. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.